Hello guys. Hi Khalil. If you can hear us clearly, if the picture quality is good, please let us know. Actually, if it's not, please let us know. You just wait for viewers to join in. I think we've got one so far. So while we wait, do you want to discuss the Harrier? Yeah, I mean, it's interesting touch, isn't it? They finally decided to go from the pre-production name to something production ready and they stuck with that same code name. They actually went to market with that right. name until the launch happens. But it's, it's weird because Toyota has a SUV called the Harrier in globe markets. And uh, that could be interesting, especially if uh, Toyota decides to launch something like that, then how does that work out? I mean, they'll just have to switch the name. Like Ford couldn't go with Everish because the Masala company had right. that name. Yeah. So they found a workaround and the end was still a good name. So I don't see it really being a problem as such. Sunil Lokwani, hello again to you, sir. Somajit, hello. Mayur, hello. Somajit, hello again. Ritwe, hello. Hey, nice to see you again, man. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Hi, Shivam, Guru. Very yes, good hello. evening. Good evening, everybody. Please go ahead and ask your questions. Okay, Robin Kumar, which one is best for Echo Sport or Hyundai Creta? Hyundai Creta, if budget is not an issue. Uh, Somjadi Chakravarti, Sir, Alto update. Is there, it's supposed to be a brand new generation. Yeah. Um, so the deal is the current Alto will not meet the crash test, crash test norms. So it will have to go and the new one will come. So possibly next year it will come. Uh, Dheeraj asks, Breza, Breza Desire, Desire or Paleno? Which one would you suggest? Uh, personally speaking, unless you want that SUV look, I see no reason to go with the Vitara Breza. Yeah. Between the Desire and Paleno, I'm inclined to say Desire because the ride quality is just slightly better. And it's not really that much different than the Paleno when it comes to space or performance. Not to mention you can have it with diesel and petrol automatic while the uh, Paleno CVT only in the petrol. Okay. Uh, Manish. Asks us new Sias or Honda City in diesel. Yeah, new Sias aane do pehle. Uske pricing dekhte hain. Fir batate hain. Par agar aapko diesel hi chahiye to aap Verna dekho. Okay. okay. Uh, Eco Sport uh, petrol leni chahiye ya Tata H5 X ka wait karna chahiye. Budget max 12 to 13. Then Eco Sport. Yeah, Eco Sport lelo H5 X 12 lakh se shuru hogi to aapko kafi base Even variant mil. 12 lakh bhi nahi because the current Tata Hexa starts yeah. at 12.49 and it goes up to about 17.89 lakh. So 14 and, uh, is more realistic. 14 to 15 is where you'll be 14.99 just for the marketing sake. So your point before you get the H5X on road, it will easily cost you like 16, 17 lakh, something like that for the entry level 2 WD. Yeah. Uh, Yagnesh, S cross my 1.5 liter diesel kab tak aega? We've got no idea. But uh, pehle Ertiga mein aegi. Uh, Swamiji, thank you. But uh, will it have the same 800 and 1000 cc engine? Yes, most likely they'll carry forward the same engine. Uh, Ritwik, about the Karok, it will come by the end of this year or early next year. Skoda has confirmed that. Uh, Nimit, gaadi ko maximum kitne kilometers ya year chalana suitable hai in your opinion? Uh, aise koi limitation nahi hai kyunki ek zamana tha jab agar nahi gaadi lete the, to uski life mushkil se 5-10 saal tak hi rehti thi. Lekin aaj kal humne bhoot saare gaadi aise dekhi jo 15 saal purani hai, 20 saal purani hai aur ekdom nahi showroom se nikli hoi condition jaise lagti hai. Uh, Kilometer pe bhi koi limitation nahi hai. There are Innovas, there are Mercedes Benzes, there are Hondas, all that have done 1 lakh, 2 lakh, 3 lakh. Many have Innova, they have done 6 lakh kilometers. So, if you just take care of it, maintenance for the hand, you know, care of it, that petrol or uh, petrol and diesel, which are put in good pumps and stick to the schedule, drive it regularly, there is no limitation. Nahi hai. Yeah, and always remember one thing that your existing car ko retain karna will always be more economical even in the long run compared to buying a new car. Because inflation always increases the prices. Yeah. Yeah. Prices prices are 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 it's very unlikely. Uh, Guru, wait for Tata H5X or Compass. Wait for it. If you can do it for one year, because it promises to be a good product. You will have to wait till at least May or so. Maybe no, April. April, April, April. April. Yeah. So, uh, Mayur asks, 38 lakh mein Toyota Fortuna a good choice. Absolutely. Endeavor bhi dekh lo, par ek bar dekh lo. Uh, Dheeraj, you're welcome. Karan Rai, Hyundai Santa Fe, new one. Will it come to India it's or not? Very unlikely. By what we had spoken to uh, Hyundai in our past conversations, at the moment, they won't be looking at 
getting the Santa Fe because the Tucson itself is not really you know selling all that well. And they thought that the Tucson would be a good alternative, something like a BMW X1 or entry level Germans. But people aren't going into it in such big numbers. So until yeah. they can get something like that established, I don't think they'll you know follow through with the next step because the new Santa Fe it looks amazing. Yeah. It's got great new features, but you can be sure it's going to be expensive as well. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, YAK 750i. Uh, Toyota Yaris J or Honda City, which one will be cheap with servicing? So honestly, the service costs will be roughly the same because क्या बदलोगे यार oil oil filter air filter the, the prices are more or less pretty much identical. Yeah, I mean I think only the Yaris might have a slight cost advantage. Yeah, because Honda slightly. does charge Honda does charge a little bit more than uh, yeah. competition. Rohit, this Baleno's build quality bad compared to other cars in that price range? Not really. I won't say the build quality is bad. Uh, is the sheet metal thin it is uh, does that affect safety no it doesn't but uh, is the build quality bad no i won't say the build quality is bad gora which is more fun to drive as well as a bit practical if you consider eco sport diesel diesel verna or petrol honda city so, i think that if you look at the eco sport diesel it's good fun that 1.5 tdci is an excellent engine Practicality wise, it's decent if you have a small family. If you've got a family of four adults or five adults, then going for the Eco Sport doesn't make sense because it doesn't have much space. Diesel Verna, it is practical, but it's not a fun to drive car. Yeah. It's got decent, adequate driver drivability. It's never feeling underpowered. The steering is light and communicative enough. The suspension is compliant enough. It's meant for usability. There's no fun to drive with the Verna. The Honda City Petrol can be fun to drive. Because the steering, it's you know uh, slightly more responsive and communicative than the others. Most others in this segment, with the exception of maybe the Volkswagen Vento and the Skoda Rapid, the suspension is stiff, so we'll have to compromise a bit on comfort. But the practicality is crazy good. The cabin space in the Honda City beats cars in segments above. So I'd say, as per usage, if you have a big family and you want fun to drive Honda City, if yeah. you're looking at yourself and small family, Eco Sport. Eco Sport. Uh, Mohit, is Creta petrol automatic good? Uh, what should be the mileage in the city? It is a silky smooth engine, really good transmission. Mileage realistically single digit pakdo. Like if you are in a metro or heavy traffic hai, to art se no ya max das uh, inside the city. Highway mein kafi zada badegi up to 14, 15 mil jayegi. Rishi Sahu S cross or Vitara Brezza S cross hands down no doubt from our side. Okay, what about Creta and pickup? How much time does the Creta take for zero to hundred? Uh, we'll pull that figure out for you. It's it's about uh, 10 odd seconds. It's we have to take a look. Let's get the actual uh, numbers. Chalo, I'll, I'll get you that in a bit. Right. Just give me a second. Okay. Till then. Endeavor 2.2 or 3.2. Uh, no off-road usage. If you look just city usage and you want, then I guess the 2.2 makes more sense. I like the 3.2 just because it feels so much more... Muscly, it feels a lot more befitting of the car itself. So, I mean, if you have the budget for it, I'd recommend go for the 3.2, but most sensible pick for you will be 2.2. Right. Uh, in terms of variants, I'd say freestyle ka titanium and consider karo Swift ka ZXI or ZDI Jovi. Um, uh, Honda BRB or Creta Petrol Auto. I want to say Creta, the transmission is much smoother. Uh, Diren wants to buy a uh, SUV which will be better Q7, XC90 or GLS350. Personally speaking, if you are going to be driven, then the XC90 makes the most sense. Yeah. And the XC90 is like okay to drive, there's nothing special about it. And if you're going to drive it, drive yourself and you want that bodyguardy proper big SUV experience, yeah. then I'd say GLS. The Q7's a bit it's somewhere in the car. middle, but it's it's a lovely luxury car. Exactly. Like the luxury quotient is there in the Q7, but it's not but really as much of a statement yeah, as the older model. For me personally, it doesn't feel special. Um, okay, uh, Vinay, best car under 12 lakh, safe and comfortable. Yaris, um, Gaurav, which is more fun to drive? Okay, we've answered this. Can we, uh, Bhushan asks us if you can swap Zeta ka headlight with Alpha? Yes, yes you can do it. Uh, Varadu Raj, physically challenged best cars in India. So I'd suggest uh, you look at uh, the AMT cars for now on a budget. Uh, there are Tiago, there's a Celerio, they're very easy to drive. You can also get in touch with the dealer. You can explain uh, what physical challenges there are and they will direct you to someone who can uh, get the car customized for you based exactly. on uh, 
बेस्ड ऑन योर एबिलिटी प्रदीप सर नेक्सॉन एक्सेड में फिफ्थ स्पेयर व्हील जो होता है वो अलॉय व्हील क्यों नहीं होता मेरे को सिंपल व्हील बनना है सबको सिंपल व्हील मिलेगा क्योंकि कॉस्ट कटिंग ओके मॉडर्न केटर इज बैक फाइनली हेलो ओके वरना एस एक्स ऑप्शन और क्रेटा एक्सेस एस एक्स ऑप्शन पेट्रोल या डीजल anyways uh, i think only by the crata only if you want the ground clearance i think saying it's for yeah. a small family for yeah. a small family the one will, will, will work again i'm taking small here to mean small in size not number yeah. because both of them are four seaters only but if you have tall four occupants crata if they're not too tall one when will the new polo come realistically 2020 2021 maybe around that time it's in line with the skoda and volkswagen groups 2.0 plan for india yeah. so skoda will be taking the lead and if they can figure out a way to either chop down the polo or somehow the sub four meter rule <laughs> yeah. changes then we can expect okay. uh, akash you want to buy a sedan this month cs alpha and honda city vmd yeah i just spoke to an exa dealer uh, earlier today cs alpha pe 1 lakh tak ka discount chal raha hai तो यू माइट वांट टू कंसीडर इट देयर इज अ 40k का कैश डिस्काउंट 50000 का एक्सचेंज बोनस है 10000 का कोई तो कॉर्पोरेट डिस्काउंट है तो यू नो 1 लाख रुपए इज अ बिग डील तो यू कैन आस्क योर डीलर फॉर इट एंड इन ट्रैफिक आई थिंक इफ यू आर कंसीडरिंग पेट्रोल बोथ विल गिव यू अबाउट 10 टू 12 इन द सिटी एंड बोथ विल गिव यू अबाउट 15 टू 16 ऑन द हाईवे fantastic should i do remapping for s cross should you i don't know can you yes yeah. aman kalia uh, kreta petrol or compass petrol kreta i mean like compass petrol you're not getting either the base variant or directly it jumps to the top variant so i don't know about what your budget is you can get a better loaded version of the kreta for a lot less yeah uh, nitin okay um, rishab what do you want to know about the tata next one you can let me know if you want to buy it yes go ahead Nitin Suzuki Grand Vitara again coming to India likely 2020 तक देखते हैं fingers crossed maybe uh, Daksh electric cars for India I think we'll make a separate video on this because if we start ranting we won't be able to answer But questions long story short we feel that it's not India is not immediately ready for it maybe we should be looking into the hybrid way first yeah um okay चलो quick rapid fire 10 to 15 lakh if you had to choose one car I go here and I go there. Uh, okay. What will be the starting price for the new Jazz Petrol? Should be about the same. Yeah, roughly the same. Five and a half, six lakh. Actually, the starting price. If I'm not mistaken, sources are saying that the S is now going to be diesel only. Diesel only. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it will be slightly higher. Higher, actually. It might be significantly higher because the petrol may not be available in the base model anymore. Yeah. Uh, can the company solve vibration problem for new Honda Amaz petrol first and reverse gear? um so i'm not sure what you're referring about i haven't heard of this problem personally um if you can point me to any video or any article i'd be grateful or just um, uh, yeah. go ahead and drive up to your service center maybe it might be a little niggle it happens with initial production batches yeah. so you can go ahead and talk to your service advisor and make sure that whatever requirements are done they're done within warranty they don't charge you for any product defects okay xuv or hexa hexa uh ayaz ahmed has booked the freestyle petrol titanium whether any other good option in the price fantastic choice uh current drive which suv would you suggest in 25 lakh want to buy any new suv uh compass trailhawk aa rahi hai by the end of the year agar aapko abhi khareedne hai you look at the tucson it's very good value for money ish <laughs> not completely but yeah the two wheel drive variant at least is uh, rishi sahu which is good s cross or preza or nexon For me, I would go Nexon S Cross Preza. Yeah, Giridhar says, so you always have a good, honest opinion. I admire that. Thank, Thank you, you so much. What freestyle titanium you're planning to buy? What do you suggest in the long term? So in the long term, you shouldn't have an issue. It's a good car. The engine is good. We're uh, we're hearing good things about it. So go for it. No problem. Just uh, if possible, just uh, take a look at what the dealer and service center situation is around your locality. Yeah. Ford's reach should be there, so it can be convenient for you to you know get your servicing and all these needs that are required. Okay. Uh, Rahul Balano facelift maybe 2020. Uh, Aman Kalia Creta petrol yearly maintenance charges. Go to the website. Check it out, uh, Sahil. Should I buy a second-hand A4 2015? Sure, if you want to, as long as there are no problems. Because I can't say if you should, right? I haven't seen the car. 
Swami ji, this is the only YouTube channel which gives answer for each and every comment. Thank you so much. Sir. It's it's also uh, you know I we just request for a bit of patience from the audience. We will answer your question. Um, right. So for all of those who are watching, I want to see some more thumbs up, please. And hit yeah. subscribe. Hit yeah, subscribe. Yeah, hit subscribe. Right just a heads up again like you mentioned we will be getting to all the questions but we want to make sure that every question is answered properly so sit back relax thoda chai bana lo make some maggi or something have it enjoy and watch us talk we talk a lot yeah. so don't worry about aur agar barish gir rahi hai to hame batao in mumbai mein bahut barish hai okay jagdish uh, kumar preza petrol does not seem likely at this point because they don't have an engine and production also they kind of wait down as it is yeah. at least not any time soon Uh, Sachin, Verna Diesel EX or S Cross Zeta for city use. It's a S Cross Zeta. Let alone that ride quality is phenomenal. You will get a lot more space also, and it's a overall. It feels like a you know like a nice buddy car. Uh, okay. Parth Agarwal, Hyundai Verna petrol automatic versus Honda City petrol automatic. Review, so, uh, if you want, we have reviews in text on. Uh, cardeco.com we have an english video that is up on our sister channel zigweeds and we have a hindi video that is done by arun on this channel itself so go ahead and take a look at the playlist you'll get your answer yeah agar aur kuch doubt hai to hame pooch lo um okay arjun hatchback car in diesel small family about 8 lakh freestyle or look at the ignis oh wait you want the diesel so ignis is out of the question look at the freestyle uh abdul ford aspire facelift पेट्रोल और होंडा जायस फेसलिफ्ट पेट्रोल या दोनों गाड़ियों को आने तो दो बट एस्पायर इज अनदर टू थ्री मंथ्स अवे जायस इज मंथ एंड मे टू वाज मंथ एंड या 19th 19th बोला है तो 19th पे लॉन्च हो जाएगी जायस पेट्रोल अगर अभी खरीदना है तो जायस इज द ओनली ऑप्शन हैरियर 7 सीटर कब आएगी अप्रोक्स रेट बता दीजिए प्लीज हैरियर 7 सीटर assuming the five seater launch happens sometime around april next year yeah. seven seater will happen later that year only if they don't launch it at you know at the same time hmm. and if you're looking at the price so i give you an estimate mid to 2019 hame abhi official i i i have a flip uh, argument here ki dekho abhi agle saal harrier aa rahi hai that is confirmed agle saal tata ki jo hatchback hai 45x pe jo wo aayegi ओके सो आई डोंट थिंक हैरियर सेवन सीटर तब वो ला पाएंगे 2020 में ऑटो एक्सपो होगा वेयर दी एच सेवन एक्स कॉन्सेप्ट इज अज पॉसिबिलिटी तो आइडियली तो आइडियली आई वुडेंट से मिड टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन आई वुड से मिड टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी एंड दैट इज Guesstimate yes. at this point. This is assuming they yeah. will launch both together, so we yeah. don't, can't say for sure at this point. Yeah. And rate, अगर देखोगे तो फिर समझ लो अगर five seater पंद्रह लाख के साथ में start होगा तो it won't cost a lot more to get the seven seater. सोलह लाख रुपए. सोलह सत्रह लाख. Depends on what variants they offer it. कि base variant से ही seven seater मौजूद होगी कि या फिर सिर्फ top end model के लिए. क्योंकि Tata कभी कभार कुछ जैसे कि Hexa के साथ में XT variant में ही आपको six or seven मिलता है. बाकी वाले seven. Okay. Uh, Between Creta 1.4, EcoSport 1.5, EcoSport 1.5. Ravi Shankar, slight wobble on my front wheel on the new Tiago. Is it wheel balancing problem? I have run 540 kilometers. Yeah, if there's a wobble, there's a possibility of uh, your wheel balancing not being on uh, point. You can go check it either at Tata or a reputed tire shop. Um, Vinay, Skoda Rapid or Vento, or in SUVs, XUV or Hexa. Okay. Rapid or Vento is practically the same. The Rapid is more value for money. Between XUV and Hexa, I'd say Hexa. Uh, need a car under fifteen lakh, safe, comfortable car. Yaris. Uh, Sanjay Agarwal, is it good to buy Innova Crysta GX diesel, G base model? Right? GX is the base model. I would suggest that if you can stretch your budget, go ahead and get the VX. Hmm. The price increase is very high. Yeah, it's two two point nine lakh rupees more than the GX. But the problem is that the GX, when you pay that kind of money, you're getting practically nothing. Yeah. So you know, yeah, so honestly, if your budget is that much, if you are saying that the Crysta GX is enough, then look for a used Innova Crysta. You can go to Car Deco. We're sure we'll have some Innova Crystas there. Once again, check it out because Innova second-hand, if you have any problem in the car, then you know that is a better option. Uh, Hyundai Tucson or Ford Endeavor? I'd say Endeavor. बट अगर आपको प्राइमरीली सिटी में चलानी है तो टू सॉन्ग लो क्या इज द वर्ना बेटर देन द न्यू क्रेटा इट मेक्स मोर सेंस अनलेस यू वांटेड एसयूवी लुक इन बेटर रियर सीट स्पेस 
I would uh, go with the Vona only. It's yeah. pretty much the same thing. Uh, Khalil, uh, new CS is coming next month. And uh, major changes, yes, a uh, new petrol engine, 1.5 litre, 105 horsepower, mild hybrid. So, it means that you have to get mileage from the engine. So, that's, that is the big update. Uh, Om, Om Jada, Jada. Jada, should I buy Creta SXO? If you can afford it, please do it. Uh, because it is expensive, but it's it's a Vasool product, if I can put it that way. Which is the most best car in India? The one My you car. can buy. No, the one you can buy. Hmm. Um, New Jazz variants with prices in petrol, sir. Prices are not yet. But in Jazz, in petrol, you will get S variant. You will get V or VX. Is uh, it SV? Hai? There is only yeah. one. So, yeah. so, Out of four variants, the top three, the petrol yeah. is likely to be available. Diesel should be across the range. Yeah, I think by what the, we have right Yeah, new addition is that ki VX may have a CVT. Milegi, so, that's a big plus right there. Uh, Suhas, I want to ask about Creta SX or SX option petrol. Which one should I buy? Selling my Hyundai i10. Okay. Uh, 92. What should be the selling price? Uh, Suhas, see, selling price yahan se batana isn't very easy because I haven't seen the car, I haven't seen the condition. So I can't give you a estimate on how much you should get for your car. Between the SX and the SX option, I would pick the SX option purely for the extra airbags. Right, but if you still think ki that price jump is a bit too much, then uh, maybe stick to the SX. The incremental features, if you're okay to live without SX. Sunita Sharma, Jeep Compass, or Vitara Preza, Jeep Compass. Uh, Raj Kumar, sir, what about automatic Swift Desire? Is the best car or the manual is best? Uh, personally speaking, if you're getting the Desire petrol, you can get the manual or the AMT, both of them are very well tuned. In the diesel, I'm slightly inclined to say prefer the manual only because the diesel AMT tuning is not as smooth as the yeah, petrol. petrol. But uh, it's perfectly usable. There's no problem with it. It's just not as good. Nikhil says if Jeep Compass is better than the Creta, yes, it is. Just a bit. I think it's it's more versatile off-road if you consider that. But price gap be both a teen lakh price gap. Ho jata. So. Rahul Mishra, want to buy a small car for city use for your wife? Daily commuting 45 to 50 kilometers. You can consider the Tata Tiago. AMT. Uh, we need Gudupati Swift diesel or I-20, I-20 diesel. I am inclined to say I-20 diesel. If the petrol was the case, I'm inclined towards the Swift yeah. diesel I-20. Uh, Rahil Khan, best car between 5 to 10 lakh rupees. I mean, there are a lot of options. 5 to 10 lakh rupees. The Baleno is a good pick. The I-20 is a good pick. The Jazz is a good pick. The Desire is a good pick. The freestyle. Uh, freestyle, you can get a top end. I mean, it, it's your. there's no best car. It matches your requirements. So what's your? Your unique. Your car should be unique to you. Okay, Rohit. Can we expect a C-segment sedan from Ford in the near future? No. Unlikely. Even globally, they are cutting back on sedans and they're going towards crossovers and SUVs. So, yeah. Vipul S Cross versus Creta. Ye bhai sahab ne bought detailed review ki hai. It's on the channel. It's got one lakh views also. Go and check it out. Add one more to that count. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, ab dekh lijiye wo review. Uh, S Cross versus Creta versus Capture ka kiya hai inhone. Let let us know if you've got more doubts. Wahi pe comment section mein drop kar dijiye. Looking for Baleno but confused between Alpha and Delta version. Sir, if you uh, can afford the Alpha, then get, get the, the Alpha. Alpha. The VFM variant is the Delta. Yeah. But if you have the money, go for Alpha. Yeah. So the capture just got a two lakh rupee price cut. Does this make it a worthy buy? Uh, tempting, yes. Very tempting because it's a lot of car. Like even the base variant is very well equipped. Um, if you're okay with like the slightly iffy ergonomics, that relative lack of space, so it's it's a big car. I think that is the selling point for like, it. Honestly speaking, the Creta or the Capture, it wasn't, it's never been an overpriced vehicle. It's yeah. given good value. But there are certain smaller things that need attention to detail that would have made it justify that, but just make it more usable. It's just a question of usability more than anything else. It's not an overpriced vehicle, even without the two lakh rupee discount. Yeah. Uh, Skoda after sales service is getting better. Yeah, it is a bit. Rohit, uh, how is Tata Nexon's infotainment compared to EcoSport or Brazza in terms of ease of use? I'd say EcoSport, Brazza, Nexon, purely in terms of touchscreen. Yeah. Uh, Hexa or Innova. Siva Balan A as Hexa or Innova. Uh, I'd say Hexa. On a budget, Hexa. If you can spend for the Innova, then go for it. Bigger engine, all of that. Uh, Krishna Pesala, best used hatchback under rupees 4 lakh. 
used used again this it it doesn't matter if it's new or used what is best for you if you're looking for daily commuter something you can look at a used tr okay so want... if if i say ki low maintenance low running cost that is again very <laughs> because it's <laughs> generic no but if if you're looking at if it's something like your first car you can look at a used wagon you can look at a used estelo you can look at a used swift um and yeah so look at those cars and like he said choose something that suits you like there is no blanket answer there is no one size fits all right so ramesh bansuri maruti swift or maruti baleno if you're looking for fun to drive swift family car baleno okay chalo let's let's do a quick rapid fire best suv under 10 lakh if you had to pick one tata nexon amaze 1.2 s or desire vxi i'm inclined to say desire because of the engine yeah Maybe. okay uh if you had an 8 lakh budget which car would you pick i want to say freestyle free again i have not experienced the freestyle that yeah. much so i can't say oh, but freestyle swift dono mein se ek ignis petrol is also a very good option uh swift zdi plus or i20 astra option which is the better for students both of them are perfectly fine for students there's no difference in that but if you're looking for something more fun to drive the swift yeah uh amit yeah go xz versus celerio lxi xz uh wagonar kab launch ho rahi hai agle saal it's again guesstimation at this yeah. point we can't say for sure maybe next par aayegi to zarur kyunki again crash test norms ho so creta better hai ya s cross please suggest sir agar aap budget pe ho uh, mr gaikwad aap uh, s cross zeta dekh sakte hain same budget mein aapko creta 1.4 s mil jayegi aur agar aap स्पेंड करने के मूड में है तो यू कैन लुक एट दॉइंट आप जाकर के YouTube पे ये मेरा रिव्यू देख सकते हैं बहुत शेप वेव करके मैंने रिव्यू दिया है उसमें <laughs> तो हिंदी में वहां पर क्रेटा वर्सेस कैसक्रॉस वर्सेस कैप्चर तीनों गाड़ियों का हमने कंपेयर किया अगर आपको अंग्रेजी में चाहिए तो फिर रिव्यूज भी मिल जाएगी अगर आपको पढ़ना हो तो कार देखो डॉट कॉम पे जाइए या फिर ऐप पे ओपन करके वो रिव्यू पूरा पढ़ लीजिए हमने रियल वर्ल्ड जीरो टू हंड्रेड हंड्रेड टू जीरो सिटी माइलेज हाईवे माइलेज सब टेस्ट किया है सब इन्फॉर्मेशन आपको मिल जाएगा बस जाके देखो गाड़ी के अंदर की नी रूम कितनी है लेग रूम कितनी है शोल्डर रूम कितनी है हेड रूम कितनी है माप के कंपेयर करके प्रॉपर माप आया तो द कंफ्यूजन जीरो कंफ्यूजन गारंटीड तो जाओ पढ़ लो बताओ हमको अगर और कुछ डाउट है तो अनुराग द बेस्ट कार अंडर 10 लाख सर व्हिच एवर यू वांट व्हिच एवर सूट्स यू इनर जगत क्रेटा डीजल 1.6 ऑटोमेटिक बारे में के बारे में आपकी क्या राय है जगत जी देखिए इंजन बहुत स्मूथ है ट्रांसमिशन बहुत स्मूथ है गाड़ी चलाने में बहुत आसान है डाउन साइड अगर मैं कहूँ तो इसकी माइलेज इज बहुत मतलब सिटी के अंदर ये काफी ज्यादा पीती है तो आठ या नौ दस मैक्सिमम आप सिटी के अंदर पकड़ के चलिए इफ यू आर कंफर्टेबल विद डैट तो आप क्रेटा ले सकते हैं वेरी वेल बिल्ड कार फीचर्स काफी बढ़िया है ए तो ले सकते हैं नो प्रॉब्लम बेस्ट ऑटोमेटिक कार्स अंडर 11 और 12 लाख लुक एट द यारिस सो वेरी गुड ऑटोमेटिक लुक एट द पोलो जीटी टीएसआई इफ यू डोंट नीड द स्पेस आई एम टॉकिंग प्योरली अबाउट द ट्रांसमिशन सो या अर्जुन शनोय डज इट मेक सेंस टू बाय सेकंड हैंड शेवरोले कार्स इफ यू आर ओके इफ यू हैव अ ट्रस्टेड सर्विस एडवाइजर हु कैन हेल्प यू ऑफ विद पार्ट्स एंड ऑल then sure but otherwise we are not otherwise, going to no, yeah. recommend several yeah long story short here yeah, naka uh in myself what will the price what will be the price range of tata harrier we've done a 2 minute video go check that out it will be somewhere around upwards of 12 lakh to 18 lakh that is our best big range uh, swift petrol or swift diesel monthly run of 700 petrol um is it worth investing in ceramic pro as compared to teflon coating you can but is it necessary no 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 drastic difference between them yeah uh, uh, is, is the engine of the creta 2018 1.4 turbocharged yes, yes it is turbocharged brio or tiago for city usage um, both of them are perfectly fine you're just going to get a better package with the tiago yeah the brio is kind of old and again it has that same 1.2 petrol so it does struggle a bit if you want to push it yeah okay um Manish says uh, he is from Mumbai. Barish बहुत है हाँ पता है हम Mumbai में नहीं हैं sir हम फिलहाल अटके हुए हैं यहाँ पे Balano Alpha Desire ZTI Plus Desire uh, is more comfortable engine तो same है space लगभग same है features लगभग same है तो I would say Desire 
योगेंद्र सिंह टोयोटा फॉर्चुना कार लेनी है फोर व्हील ड्राइव या टू व्हील ड्राइव ऑफ ज्यादा नहीं करनी है या कोई दूसरा ऑप्शन है योगेंद्र जी अगर ऑफ नहीं करनी है तो टू व्हील ड्राइव ले लीजिए ऑटोमेटिक ले लीजिए कोई दिक्कत नहीं है सिटी में चलाने में भी आसान हो जाएगी अगर आपको दूसरा ऑप्शन चाहिए तो आप हुडाई की टू देख सकते हैं अगर सिटी में ही ज्यादा यूज करे या फोर्ड की एंडेवर टू ट्रेंड ऑटोमेटिक वो आपको काफी सस्ती भी पड़ जाएगी गिरिदार सेस थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर माय डाउट्स ऑन क्रिस्टल थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच कल्पेश यू थिंक रिवर्स कैमरा यूट्यूब जस्ट अ सेकंड बाउंस ऑफ यू क्वेश्चन गाइस सो सॉरी अबाउट दैट बट आई थिंक द ओवरऑल क्वेश्चन ही वाज आस्किंग वाज इफ रियर पार्किंग सेंसर्स और रियर वाइपर ऑटो डिमिंग रियर व्यू मिरर शुड बी कंपलसरी एंड इफ यस Which other features would you want to add to this list? It's so, a lovely I, question. It's an excellent question. What I'd say is, dual front airbags, ABS with EBD, ISOFIX, a rear defogger, and rear parking sensors are the minimum that should be standard yeah. on any vehicle. A rear washer wiper, it's not an absolute must because you can live without that. And yeah, if I want to add more to this list, I'd say as many airbags as possible. But the problem then becomes that people start complaining that the car is too yeah. pricey to start start with. Like in international markets. Lot of people have the myth that those cars come better equipped, but at the same time, you have to understand that they are paying more money for that. Like a base variant will come with the best of safety features because it is mandated by law. But then you won't even have an infotainment or speakers or anything. So you know what is that one feature that I wish was standard across all cars? Nitrous oxide. <laughs> that and a height adjustable driver seat. Obviously, he doesn't need it. He's six foot five. But um, you know, for the shorties in the team, all of them crib when we get a car that doesn't have high tensions. Uh, among petrol used cars, Civic or Grand Vitara. Civic, yeah. Grand Vitara ka spares ka bahut issue hai. Uh, Creta achhi hai ya S Cross. Backward ji, we answered this. Will Honda WRV diesel get CVT? No. Not immediately. Tiago X Z versus Celero. We answered this. Uh, what is your opinion about the Honda City diesel automatic, sir? This car does not exist. Uh, Parth Agarwal, my further question: Long term reliability and mileage both on Verna petrol automatic and Honda City. No same. issues. No They, issues. You'll have no issues. Uh, Rohit, please include Karthik and Singhi in your next live stream. It would be a treat to watch all three I'm of you together. How he fit into frame yes. between the two of yes. us? <laughs> But yeah. we'll try. We'll, we'll try. We'll But try. Karthik is out of town right now. He yeah. just went and saw the. Uh, World Cup semi-finals, yeah. the lucky man. So, but yeah, soon we'll try and include. Yeah, uh, Honda City VX manual or Toyota Yaris manual. Um, I would say Honda City if you're looking at fun to drive and space. Um, otherwise, the Yaris. Swift build quality is good. Yeah, sure. it's okay. Uh, Santosh, uh, is Celero a good car than the Wagoner? I would pick the Wagoner. Okay, Tata Nexon. Yes, very Tata. nice car. Go for it. टाटा की न्यू सिडान की प्राइस क्या होगी सर टाटा अभी नई सिडान नहीं बना रहा है वो जो ई विजन वाले वीडियो व्हाट्सएप पे घूम रहे कि टाटा की वो इलेक्ट्रिक कार आएगी हजार किलोमीटर रेंज वाली नहीं आएगी वो वीडियो दैट इज अ कॉन्सेप्ट 2020 के बाद देखते हैं अभी अगर कुछ नहीं आएगा कोई सिडान आएगा नया वाला तो मोस्ट लाइकली सी आई सिटी के रेंज में होगा लेकिन वो इट्स फार ऑफ इन द फ्यूचर लाइक दिस से The brand new generation Honda City is going to come before Tata launches any yeah. sedan in that space. Tata Tiago, exactly answer. This is Celero AGS Quid AMT, which is best Celero. Uh, Datsun Ready Go. You can oh, buy oh, different. But I'd say uh, between the Quid and this, I'd pick the Quid rather than the Ready Go. Uh, Praveen Kumar Ready Creta Brezza or S Cross. We've done a full review. Please go ahead and take a look. Uh, it's in English, in Hindi, in text. You name it. Uh, five minutes stand up with Jolly's channel. Uh, I'll go ahead and take a look if your material is good. A uh, Fiat Punto, a Abarth versus Punto Evo. If you want the outright performance, uh, get the Abarth Punto because the standard petrol, the fire petrol engine that you have in the Punto Evo, it's very underperforming. Even the diesel, which is uh, which is quite odd that Fiat makes the diesel and their tuning is the worst among all the engines that is offered. In. So overall, yeah, Punto Abarth. If you can go ahead and buy it. Look at the use market. Chaitanya, is the Verna SXO diesel worth the money? If you got the money, it is worth it. Lot of good features. So yeah, best money SUV well. around thirty lakh. Look at the Tucson. Look at the Endeavour Trend two point two. Um, why does uh, Shantam say it? Ask why does the Ford EcoSport being such a feature-loaded car 
doesn't have great sales compared to Nexon and Creta. Uh, there are down to mainly two reasons. Number one, promotions where they are mattered. Like you might see it on your TBC or something, but reaching out to every nook and cranny is a problem in terms of media and more than anything else, Ford's service and sales network is not as widespread. Mm. So they need to get into more and more markets. Like one simple reason why a lot of people buy Marutis is even if the product may not be the best option for their money, it depends on their location. Like today, if I don't have a Ford service center or a sales this thing around me within 50 to 60 kilometers and Maruti or Hyundai is within 10 kilometers, smart money says I'm going to go to the Hyundai dealership. So proximity is largely a reason for that. Otherwise, the EcoSport is a fantastic car. Nexon or Creta? The Creta is the better car, but Nexon value for money. What about Maruti Ortega? It should come by Diwali. There are rumors that there will be no styling updates on the new Jazz. What do you think about this, Anurag? That's true. Um, absolutely no styling update. The only styling update, if you can call it that, is that the, removal of the, is the removal of a spoiler. Like Honda, I don't know what's up there. So in the VX, uh, the spoiler has been removed. Uh, Prakash, hi guys. Good evening. What? Good evening, Prakash. Uh, what are you guys excited about the Indian auto market in the near future? What path do you wish the market heads to? Um, I think the interesting bit here will be the transition from us using uh, pure petrol powered diesel powered cars to us using mild hybrids um, because it is going to you know it's, it's a proper shift in the way we look at cars in the way you know how electricity supplements uh, your mobility yeah. and everyday conditions and yeah. we hope that the government opens up their eyes and sees the virtue of hybrids because apart from their emission benefits having driven hybrid cars I can tell you they make you drive better yeah. they make you drive more efficiently they make you more conscious about conscious about throttle inputs and coasting and you know the calmer you drive the more efficiently you drive you also drive calmer it will improve driving behavior in the countries i mean this is my personal opinion i don't have any empirical data and it will lower your blood pressure also Genuine. because they really do. because i remember this time when uh, tushar and i uh, were driving the camry hybrid and the accord hybrid so we, yeah the, those are three or four most peaceful days of our lives i remember we parked into karthik's garage without him noticing that is how quiet they are and uh, it, it genuinely there's a different kind of fun driving a hybrid car because you know every time you look at that uh, kilometer per liter wala readout it is showing you 25 27 the wallet is very happy um any update for cs diesel sir agle maine aayegi first two weeks mein aa jayegi endless killer is the ford eco sport best for six feet person it's not the best but it is a very good option yeah. yes six footers two people can sit one behind the other only yes. Uh, Prabhakar, want to buy a new car on 10 to 12 lakh, top end model, which car is better for me? Look at the next song. Uh, Subir, uh, need an honest opinion from your side. I'm physically challenged and I will be driving the vehicle with my left hand only. Earlier, I booked Amaze VCVT model, but now news is that Jazz is going to be launched. Okay, so you have to wait for one week. The Jazz prices will be out next week. Um, 19th ko prices are jayenge. So what you can do is you can wait and take a call then. Um, so yeah, in terms of drivability, they won't be too different because the same engine, the same gearbox. So you can take a call. And you can also consider if you want to take a look at the Polo GT TSI. Yeah. That is also one uh, car that might suit you quite well. He owns one. Yeah. Uh, Keshav, how's the Duster RXS petrol CVT? Is it good? Price is very tempting compared to the diesel in India. I haven't driven the Duster petrol CVT. Um, so I won't be able to comment on that. I'm very sorry. Uh, uh, Amit Sakala, Tiago, we answered, we answered. Answered. Launch date for S201 by the end of the year, I'm guessing. Uh, which is best, Alto and Redigo? I'll Aldo. say Alto. What about the CIS interior? Not Through a no difference. Uh, wo dashboard ka sir. Uh, Sandeep Gauda, sir, when when anyone asks which car to buy, petrol or diesel, why uh, experts ask him daily running? Sir, because uh, daily running, we know how much you are going to do it. If your running is very high, then it makes sense that your fuel is very low. So, when you buy a car, you can buy a little extra because in the long run, you are going to save money. If running is very low, then petrol 
one is okay elementary thing to understand is maybe i'm not sure you've seen it across the market diesel engines until you get to luxury spaces they always cost more than the petrol variant would which means i'm not talking about a 20 30000 rupee difference they are difference lakh. of 1 lakh or even more that is why we ask you you are running because clearing up that 1 lakh difference between the diesel price the car's efficiency how long you plan to own it what your loan term is all those factors come in so generally if you don't have a running of more than say 1000 1200 kilometers a month we'd say go for a petrol only you get better refinement the lower in emissions and of course you can you don't have to worry about the government you know having mood swings over whether diesel is good or not so that is generally why we ask about it uh subhi das going to be launched on 19 july oh yeah the continuation of the question so yeah like we said once the prices come out we can uh, get a better look and see which one is the right pick and yeah again do consider the polo gtsi as well uh soumya thakur what about the jimny we want one yeah he wants everybody in the office wants to buy one uh but likelihood of it coming in when it will come what do you think we 2020 auto expo is my guess yeah it's a guesstimate at this chalo point. rapid fire kare chalo kahan the hum to bhaiya wagon okay. r vxi versus vxi plus vxi le lo save the money projector headlamp se zyada kuch farak nahi padne wala uh, we are okay. upgrading uh, innova 2009 to xuv w11 automatic is uh, my only problem with the xuv is that it's not a very polished car like the they've improved the looks and performance and everything but you still have vibes you still have crinkly plastics and tweakiness and honestly even a brand new xuv doesn't feel too different than a 8 year old one a 6 year old one yeah. or whatever so no i would honestly, say stretch you, for the hexa yeah hexa or if you want to stick with toyota you can get the new innova itself it is worth it yeah showably no no update for crs diesel as of now launch date of mahindra s201 maybe by the end of this year elite i20 astra come with six airbags astra option aati hai uh which car is better verna sx or creta sx creta versus verna i'll always say verna unless you need the ground clearance of the creta uh nishad kaka w7 xuv yeah Very it's a bfm variant but the car itself is a bit different yeah uh manish yes you can modify the delta to get the same features as the alpha but the amount of money you will spend you might as well buy the alpha uh rakesh yadav Ford Aspire Desire Honda Amaze for long term use. Long term use के लिए Desire Aspire Amaze तीनों ही ठीक हैं. अगर आप petrol ले रहे हो तो Desire ले लो, diesel ले रहे हो तो Amaze और Aspire में से चुन लो. नई Aspire आ रही है उसके लिए wait कर लो. दिवाली तक आ जाएगी. Shreyas Jain Aspire. भी आंसर का है. Okay. Uh, Tata Tiago और Swift. Swift. Price range of Harrier 12 to 18 lakh. Amaze V CVT और new uh, Jazz V CVT. um it depends on the pricing but uh, you know i i'd honestly pick the amaze because the uh, nvh levels are better controlled on it and the ride yeah. quality is also better yeah uh nilay the new cs will come next one first two weeks mein aa jayegi big change is that 1.5 liter mild hybrid petrol engine and uh, yeah Hey, Rakesh, hey man, what's up what's up okay hey, what what, what, what car did you, did you get I am guessing Mumbai and Amalfi looks exactly the same. So, yeah. Uh, Vikas Raj Aran, thank you. Do you think Nissan will bring the fifth gen Micra to India? At the moment, it's very unlikely. Uh, go ahead and take a look at a video we've done about the Nissan Kicks. The basic point here is that the Nissan Kicks is going to come in January next year. January, February is when you're going to see it hitting the market, and that is going to be a barometer. if the nissan kicks does not do well you can be assured the micra is not going to yeah. come because it's not a sub for me the vehicle and it's a lot more premium is jumping up a segment also yeah. so unless their suv formula doesn't work it's very unlikely that nissan will bring the micra chalna be proper rapid fire karte hain nahi ho raha hai aur amaze v or jazz v answer is baleno delta value oh, for right. money alto ready go alto A news on hexa upgrade or facelift is harrier replacing hexa no, no it's, it's not, not replacing and there's no update as uh, well raka hope you like the cars of italy video i saw it damn nice uh, he sent a video on twitter uh, ankit uh, sir in your app there's an information i20 active has smart fuel lid uh, explain the method to open the fuel lid you can just pull the tab or press it it will open uh, best small car for weekly 150 km trip one use tiago Polo GT DSI mileage in the city 8 से 10. Octavia VRS is a practical car, very. Uh, 
बेकार है मेरे पास है हमेशा कुछ ना कुछ खराब रहता है सर महिंद्रा को बताइए काफी कंप्लेन सुने बट यू नो नथिंग दैट कांट बी फिक्स अपना यूजर रिव्यू प्लीज कैन यू पोस्ट इट ऑन कार देखो शेयर योर एक्सपीरियंस पीपल नो व्हाट टू लुक आउट फॉर या एंड YouTube हैज स्क्रूड विद अस अगेन अगेन गाइस सॉरी इफ देयर आर एनी डिलेस व्हाट यू आर सीइंग ऑन योर स्क्रीन इज नॉट व्हाट वी आर सीइंग ऑन आवर स्क्रीन देयर इज अ गैप दैट इवन आई एक्सपीरियंस लेटर ऑन व्हेन आई वाज वाचिंग वन ऑफ दीस लाइव्स सो सॉरी अबाउट दैट एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू गिव अस अ लाइक हिट सब्सक्राइब we will get to all of your questions we're not going anywhere for at least another 15 20 minutes okay uh, tigor xz option on exxon xm petrol um you can look at the tigor honestly it's better loaded but uh, agar aap diesel dekh rahe ho to nexon he lo because uh, that engine is worth it uh, honda jazz cvt in diesel no nope, it doesn't look like it capture or s cross sachin shah there's a video on the channel please check it out uh, harrier kab tak launch hoga april 2019 ke pehle automatic sahi rahegi ya manual petrol ya diesel sir it depends agar aap city mein bahut chala rahe hain jagdish ji to try for an automatic because you know it will be more convenient petrol ya diesel depends upon your running nilima shrivastava which is best creta uh, mayur takalikar i'm sorry i'm not reading right yeah takalikar जर्नी um creta you wait for harrier future billion if you can MC. wait if you can wait for 8 months wait for it uh tata nexon or eco sport diesel nexon uh swift baleno or i20 between the between the three i think i'd pick the balen uh pankaj supriya why toyota recalls fortune or manual petrol and innova yeah it's it's not a big deal wo wiring harness pe tape lagana it won't take too much time so nothing serious uh if you own one then get it done there is an article on zigwheels you can check it out uh sagar metal creta is a better car sure uh which one would you recommend suv under 20 lakh seven seater we answered this um eco sport titanium wrv vx or brezza zdi or any other car sir look at the s cross zeta um okay grand i10 astra or amaze s petrol amaze s petrol uh bogman your thoughts car dekho uh when will aspire facelift launch maybe august september of this year ha uh raka agrees with me that height adjustable should be standard oh that is how far behind we are oh wow <laughs> okay um oh it's been 48 minutes i'm sorry i'm going to skip a few questions uh i'm just going to pick the most interesting questions now because some of them are getting repeated so yeah. you guys can go back from the live we are show you all these questions have been answered in this live and yeah. many before also yeah cs facelift ke bare mein batao what is new in top model naya engine naye headlamps naye tail lamps naye bumpers nothing much uh achintya guys please answer this which is the most expensive car in india like a ferrari tdf uh the most expensive car in india is anything that a person can import like there's nothing stopping anyone from importing a bugatti chiron or something like that so there's there's no roof Uh, muscle wadai productions tiago or swift so petrol i say swift even for diesel honestly i say swift uh wagona or celerio celerio like he says wagona i like the celerio um okay ford eco sport titanium plus petroleum mahindra xuv 300 go for the eco sport mm. uh, pratik sir i want to buy car baleno rs desire zxi plus my running is on highway and village mix which one would you suggest i would say desire zxi yeah. the rss suspension is slightly stiffer set uh, abhishek choudhary what about celerio wagonar like we said i prefer wagonar he says celerio 
uh, Ajit Bhaskar Ford Freestyle India first is it good or not? Yes, it is good. Lovely Verma, please reply. Tigor exit option or Nexon XM. We answered this. Tigor. Uh, Unless you are buying the diesel, then Nexon. Satish Raj Toyota Rash India me kaft kaegi. Please ja kar ke aap maine humne ek in two minutes video bataya. Lekin long story short, India me nahi aane wali hai. Shayad se Toyota CHR aane wali hai. Ulta hai na. Nice name. Planning to buy a Ford Freestyle Titanium. Is there a better car in that price range? I'd say go ahead and get the Freestyle Titanium. We'd be perfectly happy. Uh, Kedar Nexon XM is better. Oh, you're talking among each other. That's nice. Oh, uh, Rishikesh, Sapkan, which car you both have? Honda Jazz, GTS, and Zen Estilo. Shreyansh Jain, when will the Aspire be answered this? Uh, okay. Shishir Singh. A lot Honda of questions are getting rip, uh, repeated. I'm not sure if this. Uh, okay. Interesting. Why don't you tell us which car to buy? Not about how much it takes for service and uh, maintenance and resale value. Anirudh, the simple reason for this is that we can only tell you about it if we spend as much time with it, right? Uh, when we test cars, we get it for a week max. We get long termers, but they're like six months. Um, and I can't predict resale value for a car if I don't know how you've treated it. Yeah. So don't expect. You know, there, there isn't a standard, so there. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to drop down to the bottom. Let's let's quickly do some live Q and A again. Let's go down. Uh, Jaren says he's booked the freestyle petrol instead of Polo and I20, as you guys said. Superb, Jaren. Let us know what you think about it. Ambikesh, uh, bhaiya, Tigor diesel top model kaisa rahega? Smooth drive rahegi, badiya wali. Badiya drive. Badiya wali nahi hai. Kam chala hua hai, par thik hai. It's okay. If you want a smooth drive, you want a diesel. You want a diesel? In that segment, I'm amazed. If you can stretch a little bit, you can be amazed. S. Badiya wali smooth drive. Puneet Ratnam, which car is better? Or Octavia 2016 or Elantra 2016? Octavia. Octavia. Okay. Is Elite I-20 good for a long drive? Yes, it is. And we've lost questions again. Okay, Micra CVT, XN. Akshay uh, says, CS, I sunroof a sunroof. I don't think so, sunroof a sunroof. Uh, price will be increased. Uh, Micra CVT, Brio Automatic. Uh, Brio Automatic, but honestly, both cars are very old right now. Look at something newer. Uh, when Tata H5X will be launched, will it give good run for money with Jeep? Likely, yeah. Ignis or Figo? I'd say freestyle. Perfect blend between the two. Baleno or Nexon? Baleno or Nexon? I'd say Nexon unless you need the greater space of the Baleno. Abhi, Ambikesh, Ambikesh Hindi bola kari hai bhaiya. Bhaiya, aapka sawal to Hindi mein answer gaya. Aap puchi hai Hindi mein, hum Hindi mein jawab denge. Aap puchi hai English mein. Aapne wo likha bhi English mein. To uh, Akshay CS facelift par video de do sir ji. Video a jayegi. Uh, Launch के आसपास करते हैं चलो आपको two minute video चाहिए detailed review चाहिए बता दीजिए हमें sir whether to go for Creta SX or SX option in diesel if you can stretch for SX option nothing like it तो सामा खली दी jazz petrol manual कैसी है शहर में चलाने के लिए ठीक ठाक है highway पे जाओगे तो फिर थोड़ी उसकी ताकत कम लगती है engine की इशा नो चाहे we got that question चिन्मय hello to you what is your opinion जगत opinion about Jeep Compass automatic we drove it and uh, good ride quality. The engine is one, the engine isn't as silent as I expect a turbo petrol to be. And two, it is nowhere near fuel efficient as a turbo petrol engine should be. I think inside the city could sade shake a mileage the other garden. So, um, our banks both push the key, our pesce, but uh, yeah, very expensive in terms of fuel costs, but otherwise, very good car. Uh, internet, bro, busy, what about Range Rover, go for it, if you have the budget. Satvik Shetty, why Volkswagen has no resale value? Is that really the case? Not really. I, uh, the really older ones, they depreciate. The more expensive ones like the Jetta and the Passat, no, they, there's something that they depreciate very hard. But then that's something, uh, you know, that's common across cars that are in that price segment. So, yeah, I think it... Uh, has no resale value because people have a fear that uh, the after sales are very expensive uh, which to be honest the part costs maybe slightly but you know anything that is not covered under warranty will be expensive 
okay which company's tires are the best for skoda fabia how do you choose the best tire for a, a car in city usage prakash what you need to do is speak to a tire dealer um and there are three main things right there's grip um there's uh, noise. there's noise and there's comfort okay so ideally a tire will offer you any two so choose and ask the tire guy to tell you if you want comfort and if you want grip the specific tire, type of tire if you want comfort and low noise there's a specific type of tire so uh, i'm not at the liberty to discuss brands i'm very sorry about that but uh, yeah you can choose the punker is back hi the punker i hope Dipankar, you're still watching yes hello uh, sirs what is the difference between a monocoque chassis and ladder frame chassis or any other frame sorry for the spelling don't worry about the spelling hum bhi auto correctly use karte hain okay this is okay just imagine this to be a monocoque okay so basically this is the frame of the car and the frame itself is the chassis okay so isi pe sab lag jate hain this is a ladder frame niche chassis hai uske upar body hai i this is the most easy explanation i can give you and basically uh, yeah. monocoque you have a frame which is a lot more adaptable so you can put a hatchback on this you can put a sedan on this you can put a suv and yeah. mpv you can so mold not, that chassis yeah. into whatever But you want more, cost effective monocoque yeah. this frame is everything the body and frame are together yeah so that is why making it more adaptable to different body styles unless you get what you call what they call modular architectures yeah. like mqb or the omega platform of tata that's coming up or the tnca these are all monocoque platforms which are more stable better put together and can be more cost effective in the long term okay um e capture or eco sport or creta creta uh, if you can stretch eco sport is more value for money uh okay where okay ha huh. there there we go uh, budget of 7 to 8 lakhs tata xz tiago tigor freestyle titanium go for the uh, freestyle vikram seriously exploring buying a used jetta as it is available at a very good price because worried about maintenance cost uh, vikram actually that's you and me both um because uh, even i came across deals of really good jettas um very tempting yes but uh, fingers crossed they don't go bad uh, the part costs are high um i'm not going to deny that uh, but if you can pick it up and if you got a risk appetite then you can pick it up mechanically they're fantastic cars um okay compass diesel base versus creta diesel top creta diesel top Kartik asks us uh, which luxury brand comparatively cheaper. Please do ownership videos as well. Yeah, um, we can't say how much a car will cost to service because every car goes through a different ownership process. But um, it's more or less yeah. the same. Like you can look at maybe uh, for any of these, if we just stick to periodic services for BMW, Mercedes, Benz, or Audi, you look at anywhere between fifteen to twenty thousand for. all regular service that includes consumables labor taxes 15 to 20000 is the average expense but there might be something more unforeseen if your air filter needs to be changed earlier or the oil plug needs to be changed earlier or some damage happens from fuel or the injectors whatever it is but yeah, yeah all we recommend is get the maximum possible warranty no matter which one of these luxury brands you pick okay uh, amaze is good or any other option like the i20 you can pick the amaze no problem baleno versus nexon versus swift i'd say baleno and or the next one you can choose between the two the swift is comparatively smaller uh okay chinmay budget of 7 to 8 lakhs okay we've answered this uh after sales service of which car company is good in hyderabad so it's, it's that's a very generic question now after sales experience will change from person to person so it's very generalized uh okay detailed video for the cias akshay says sir noted bana mm-hmm. denge Arun subscribe karo aur bell icon dabao and when that video goes up i want to see your comment there arun prasad asked that is there a possibility of the uh, thar excel excel the new thar that will be coming it is going to be larger in size it's right now not into a very advanced stage of developments yeah. but it's not going to be like tuv 300 ki thar pe four door version bana ke seven seater bane waisa kuch nahi hoga it will always be a two seater with that bench seat at the back Lalit, does Maruti new cars are really tin sheet quality cars? Yeah, see the sheet metal is thin. No one's denying that, but and it's okay. He, he has yeah. an opinion about it. it's completely fair. 
so uh, okay dipankar says best explained thank you sir you welcome uh, which is better ladder frame chassis or a monocoque sagar it depends um, ladder frame has its uses uh, monocoque has its uses so there's no such thing as best uh, for an off road sort of uh, setup a ladder frame is preferred um, you know so something like uh, the scorpio is a ladder frame right uh, something except for the xv yeah. pretty much uh, everything is a ladder frame uh, the thar all of that the Even ladder for sure the end of the all ladder frame ladder get more flexibility when you go off road yeah. monocoque is beneficial mainly for one they better put together they handle better and because you don't have a frame plus a body and it's, it's not together lighter. weight savings are significant you can get like between a similar ladder frame and a monocoque you can have 300 to 400 kilos of yeah. weight saving difference yeah so example acha go example ban is <laughs> uh, chinu kumar jazz versus baleno filal baleno it's better loaded wrv or eco sport eco sport unless you want the space in yeah. which case wrv honda city automatic a uh, good engine uh, i think the refinement levels are nowhere near what they used to be uh, the cvt is okay uh, not great but it's sort of fun if you're pushing it uh, new cs to get cvt or 6 speed torque converter or amt amt i don't think aayega सीवीटी का पॉसिबिलिटी मेरे को सबसे ज्यादा लग रहा है बिकॉज दे ऑलरेडी हैव अ सीवीटी इन द प्लेनो सो या टॉक कन्वर्टर इज अनलाइकली ओके वन चांस ऑफ एन अपडेटेड ईटीओ स्लीवर वी आर नथिंग सिग्निफिकेंट नथिंग दैट विल मेक इट मोर एक्साइटिंग और टेंटिंग टू बाय या आई 30 डोंट एक्सपेक्ट इट ईटीओ और अमेज फॉर अ फैमिली ऑफ फाइव लुक एट द अमेज अ फर्स्ट कार आर टिगोर या फ्रीस्टाइल लुक एट द फ्रीस्टाइल एक्सयूवी 300 लॉन्च कब होगी सर नॉट इवन महिंद्रा नोज इट राइट नाउ सो लेट्स वेट दिवाली आई एम एक्सपेक्टिंग हाउ इज द बीएस6 नॉम गोइंग टू अफेक्ट द कार मार्केट पीपल प्लानिंग टू बाय अ न्यू कार राइट नाउ कुछ फर्क नहीं पड़ेगा आपको खरीदना खरीद लो क्योंकि जब बीएस3 से बीएस4 गए थे तो क्या फर्क पड़ा था कुछ फर्क नहीं पड़ा नेक्स्ट ऑन डीजल और टीयूवी 300 नेक्स्ट ऑन डीजल रेनो कैप्चर बेस और क्रेटा एसएक्स ऑप्शन क्रेटा एसएक्स ऑप्शन इको स्पॉट टाइटेनियम प्लस ऑटोमेटिक और महिंद्रा एक्सयूवी 300 का वेट करें इको स्पॉट ले लो टाटा एच5x सेम प्लेटफार्म एज डिस्कवरी स्पोर्ट डज दैट रिफाइनमेंट एंड स्टेबिलिटी विल बी देयर इट इज पॉसिबल बट देयर आर गोइंग टू बी सम फाइनर डिफरेंसेस बिकॉज़ द डिस्कवरी स्पोर्ट इज कंप्लीटली एल्युमिनियम बेस्ड लार्जली एंड फ्यूल स्टील कंपोनेंट्स इन द केस ऑफ द एच5x दे आर गोइंग टू बी शिफ्टिंग अ लॉट ऑफ दोस एल्युमिनियम कंपोनेंट्स फॉर स्टील फॉर कॉस्ट कटिंग व्हिच मींस दैट इट विल बी स्टिल ड्यूरेबल एंड सेफ एंड व्हाट नॉट बट इट विल बी हेवियर आल्सो सो वी कांट से हाउ दैट्स गोइंग टू अफेक्ट स्टेबिलिटी एंड ड्राइवेबिलिटी बट आई एम कीपिंग माय होप्स अप इट इज अ मोनोकॉक राइट आल्सो केशव वी आरंट स्किपिंग योर क्वेश्चन वी डिड आंसर इट अ वाइल बैक मे बी यू मिस द आंसर I said I haven't driven the Duster petrol CVT, so I can't answer that. I'm very sorry about it. Uh, best car, best sports car for Indian roads. I would say Audi RS6 I want. Um, or the Octavia RS. Octavia RS. I consider that to be a sports car. Uh, okay, chalo. Who be? Chalo. Let's take a last few questions. It's been an hour. Uh, we need to end this. Toyota Bharat Rush uh, not coming. Bharat Vaj, Goli Takra. What is your opinion about the Toyota Yaris diesel? Will it be here in India? No, it's not. Uh, Toyota Rush. She just answered. Uh, okay, which four by four within twenty lakh segment low range gear? Example, Thar and Force can Hexa do some serious off roading. Yeah, the Hexa is big. You take it off road, it will get beached because of the sheer distance between the two wheels. It's not a hardcore off-roader. It is something that doesn't mind going off-road. It's, There is a big difference. It's just look at it this way. It is not a purpose-built off-roader. But if you have to do something like yeah. a slight amount of mud plugging, going around your farmhouse, for that is fine, and it can do a decent amount of that. But yeah. if you're looking at yeah. hardcore off-roading, it's you have to go towards your Fortuner and Endeavour side. The H5X, yeah, or Harrier or another, it is going to have all-wheel drive. We don't know what system because if they keep it in the Hexa. Give me pretty confident it's going to be offered with the Harrier. It is a Land Rover place platform after all. You can't not give four by four. That will be a detrimental move. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we'll have to see how well that does. Okay. Um. So Manish says he's decided to buy the Palenum petrol Alpha. That was a quick decision. Thank you. Um. Okay, Chinmay, we've answered your question. Freestyle. Um. Baleno Delta Ford Freestyle. If you don't need the space, Freestyle Titanium. Okay, last few questions. I'm going to let him answer. 
um okay this is an interesting one so we'll take some time about it about this one uh, what about upcoming car companies like mg and kia will they have good cars yes that was a great answer <laughs> uh used pajero 2011 or used rexton 2011 sir rexton se dur raho ye dono mein se hi choose karna hai to pajero 2011 lo thoda sa budget bada ke aapko fortuner mil jayegi that is nearly bullet proof that is a very sensible option uske uski service bhi sasti hai to you can look at that anil kumar tigora to baleno baleno suraj petty brezza or s cross s cross vakul madhera will the swift ever get 1.5 diesel for 1.3 forever uh, unfortunately because of the indian subfometer rule no it will not get a 1.5 the diesel engine will it can get it but it seems unlikely because it just seems unnecessary for something that like okay aditya uh, the honda jazz is launching on july 19th uh, bharadwaj uh, safety wise which company do you think is the best i don't know man i i, I you know unless i unless you crash something how do you know how safe it is but uh, on the whole i think toyota is doing great with you know giving seven airbags as standard that shows great commitment towards safety uh, there's someone um, like yondai who's giving you six airbags on the top model ford with six airbags and something like the figo highly appreciable uh, sir may i buy the tata hexa yes, please do please you do. may okay so i think on that note it's time to end uh, thank you so much guys for watching um we won't be answering any more questions uh, so we just said we're coming back to doing lives in the evening because of that one live session we did in the morning and uh, yeah so i think that's about it if you've got more questions we'll end the stream you can drop it in the comment section and uh, we'll get back to you promise and uh, yeah subscribe nahi kiya to subscribe karo subscribe give this a thumbs up thank you all so much for watching and you guys also have a great weekend youtube prakash manish thank you all for your good compliments and yeah keep tuning in keep those questions coming in and as always do post them once let everybody get a chance to you know have their voice heard and question answered yeah so right. thank you so much thank you so much for watching see you bye Fuck it.